Hi, this is Mato. Welcome to my online chess lecture. In this video, we will show you a game between Lemon Aronian and David Navarra. This is a game from St. Louis, Rapid Chess Tournament played in 2017. Lemon Aronian had white pieces and he started with d4. Knight to f6, c4, e6. Knight to f3, b6, Queen's Indian defense. g3, Bishop to a6, b3, bishop to b4, check, bishop to d2, bishop to e7, knight to c3, Navarra, castle kingside, bishop to g2, popular main line seen many times in the past, d5, c takes on d5, e takes on d5, Levon Aronian, castle kingside 2, rook to e8, knight to e5, bishop to b7, white move. Queen to c2 was played. Rook to c1 was seen many times in the past in this position. Queen to c2. c5. d takes on c5. Pawn takes pawn on c5. Rook from a to d1. Lining the rook with black queen. Queen to c8. e4. Bishop to f8. Defending the knight. d4. Attacking the knight on c3. Knight to d5. Knight takes on d5. E takes on d5, f6, attacking the knight. What is the best square for the knight? What would you do in this position if you had white pieces? Perhaps knight to d3 looks like a sensible move. Do you agree? There was a surprise. Levon Aronian played. Rook from d to e1. Unbelievable move. Sacrificing the knight. Pawn takes knight, f takes on e5. For a sacrifice piece, white has a pawn, plus two very strong pawns in the center, among other things. Knight to d7, e6, knight to f6, white to move. What now? What would you do in this position if you had white pieces? Levon Aronian sacrificed the exchange. Kaboom! What a move! Pawn takes rook. Queen to f5. Queen to d8. Queen to c7 would be perhaps a better move. Queen to d8. Perhaps the idea was to stop rook to e4. Rook to e4 was played. However, Navarra didn't take on d5 with the bishop. He played rook to e7. What's wrong with bishop takes on d5? If bishop takes on d5, then e7. After rook takes on e7, rook takes rook, bishop takes rook, queen takes on d5, check. Queen takes queen, bishop takes queen, check, king to g7, bishop takes rook. And white is winning. Back to our game. Rook to e7 was played. Rook to g4, check, king to h8. Bishop to e4, rook to c8, rook to h4. Three attackers on h7 pawn and two defenders only. King to g8. How about queen to c7? Then bishop to f4. And what else? What about rook from c to c7? Then queen takes on f6, check. After king to g8, rook takes on h7, rook takes rook, bishop takes rook, check. Rook takes on h7, queen takes queen. And then d6 and e7 pawns are coming. For example, if bishop to a6, d6, rook to g7, e7. Easily winning for white. Back to our game. King to g8. Rook takes pawn on h7. Bishop takes on d5. A desperate move. But if rook takes on h7, queen takes on h7, checkmate. Bishop takes on d5. Queen to g6, check. Rook to g7. How would you continue this position if you had white pieces? Levon Aronian played. Queen to h5. Bishop takes pawn on e4. 
white move and to checkmate in one. Rook to h8, checkmate. What a game. That is how Mikhail Tal used to play chess. Would you like to learn to play like Tal? Play like Tal DVD is available right now at a special price. Please click on the link below the video and download your copy right now.